New details tonight on the radiation leak at the WIP facility. Independent test results issued today by the Carlsbad Environmental Monitoring and Research Center at New Mexico State University show the levels released into the environment have diminished since the breach on February 14th and are well below the EPA standards. Scientists say this means that filters put in place to keep large amounts of radiation from reaching the surface worked in this case. But while this is good news for WIP, its workers, and the Carlsbad community, the stakes remain high for the facility's future, especially as the debate swirls over whether more dangerous waste should be stored there. Katie Kim is on special assignment. Damage control is in full swing. We are taking all the precautionary measures that's needed. We'll make sure that that does not happen again. This comes on the heels of a bad month at the Waste Isolation Pilot Plant, WIP for short. The plant is the Fed's first underground storehouse for a certain dangerous radioactive waste. It sits 26 miles east of Carlsbad. Safe to say, there is no room for error. But last month, for the first time in WIP's 15-year history, there was an error. A trace amount of radiation was detected above ground at the WIP site. Federal officials have confirmed 13 employees tested positive for radiation contamination. More employees are being tested. The health risks from the exposure are unknown. In early February, an underground fire sent six workers to the hospital. From the state's perspective, one event is far too many. New Mexico leaders are pressing the Department of Energy for answers. The Fed say they're still investigating. All this comes at a time when experts are contemplating WIP's future. Right now, WIP's mission is only to accept low-level waste, things like clothes and tools that have been exposed to radiation in the nation's defense labs. All the really dangerous high-level stuff, materials like spent nuclear fuel, is kept at the Defense Department's other facilities around the nation. The most radioactive waste is kept far away from New Mexico, but there have been talks to change that. The expansion would be uh, equally as beneficial, there's no question. Former State Representative John Heaton chairs the Nuclear Opportunities Task Force. He says New Mexico could be the perfect place to store high-level radioactive waste. That's because of our salt beds, buried miles under the desert floor that federal officials have carved into rooms the length of football fields. We happen to have a very unique a uh, piece of geology here in the salt and it's very, very thick. Heaton points to early research that shows salt beds could safely store high-level radioactive waste. Other state leaders agree New Mexico could be the answer to a national problem. The nation needs to move forward with solving the problems that we have with waste disposal and uh, we have, uh, I think, plenty of uh, good evidence to show that that we're a place that, that needs to be looked at. An expansion of WIP's mission is something most people in and around Carlsbad support. They've seen the direct benefits of the plant to their community, but others around the state aren't so sure. They are distracted from just doing their mission. Don Hancock says recent events are further proof that WIP isn't prepared to take on more dangerous levels of waste. There's a declining safety culture at WIP. The fire and the Radiation release are symptoms of this problem. Hancock also adds storing high-level waste near Carlsbad would mean truckloads of it would travel through communities across New Mexico. He said the risk isn't worth it. There are red flags to what could potentially even be worse. Any change in WIP's mission will take an act of Congress. For now, members of New Mexico's congressional delegation say they're focused on the ongoing radiation investigation. It's a good time to step back and figure out exactly what happened. Um, I'm a big believer in making decisions based on data and science, and we don't have all the information yet. Senators Martin Heinrich and Tom Udall say they are opposed to storing high-level waste at WIP, but our representatives in Washington say in the end, it'll be up to New Mexicans to decide what waste the state will accept. We feel like that we are uh, really and truly providing a tremendous service to the country by doing this. Its mission was start clean, stay clean, not ever have a release. Well, it's failed in that mission. On special assignment in Carlsbad, Katie Kim, KRQE News 13. Congressman Steve Pierce, who represents Carlsbad, would not say whether he would support a plan to store high-level waste in New Mexico salt beds. A Pierce spokesman said Pierce does not want to speculate on proposals not on the table. The congressman has introduced a bill that would allow WIP to accept more of the same low-level waste from other government-owned departments. 
Right now, it only accepts waste from the Department of Defense. Now, to read full statements from the rest of New Mexico's elected officials on WIP's future, log on to KRQE.com.